Hey guys, Aiden here from Core Electronics, and today we're going to take a look at the Gizmos and Gadgets 2nd Edition kit from Little Bits. Now if you guys haven't seen Little Bits, Little Bits before, I can tell you that they're small magnetic electronic bits, and you can use them to assemble and create electronic circuits. Now they're really good for ch uh, children ages 8 to 14, anywhere in that range. It's a very, very good way to get kids that know absolutely nothing about electronics into the world of science, technology, engineering, and maths. So what we're gonna do is take this kit apart, we'll pull it apart and see what's inside, see what you get with your Little Bits, Gizmos, and Gadgets kit. We'll talk about the differences between kit one and two, and then we'll take a look at the Little Bits app alongside the guidebook and see what sort of educational content you get alongside your book. So let's get into it, guys. We'll uh, just open this up. I really like the way Little Bits packages all their kits. It's really easy to throw them all back together when you need to. So you open this one up and you've got the uh, this book here. Now the book is really, really, really nicely put together. It's got a lot of illustrations, it's all in color, and it's um, very complete. So take a closer look at that in a second. We've got, so this is our tray, like our parts tray, and these are all the bits that you get with your kit. So you get a couple of power bits. Now a power bit is just a um, small blue bit. Now it's got a DC barrel jack on one end and a small power switch and the connection. So this is the beginning of any circuit that you're going to make. So just whack them over there. Additionally, you've got some green bits. Now green bits are known as output bits. So this is a small DC motor here. Uh, on the top of the DC motor bit, we've got a switch that allows us to select from counterclockwise to clockwise or a variable direction, which we can control with a uh, pink bit. Oh, we've also got a fan. We've got a buzzer. We've got some slide dimmer, so these are just slide dimming potentiometers, so you can control the power level in your circuit. Um, what else? Do we have? Oh, we've got a light sensor here. Now that's a bit of a special one. It's got a switch on the top where you can control if you're going to control your um, circuit using light or dark. So it's going to react to a light um, hitting the sensor or dark it being dark. So that's a, a special one. There's another feature of that bit that we'll go over in a second. You also get your wire bit which is just an orange bit. So any orange bit is just helping you connect. So the wire bit is helping you connect, say from one side of your output bit over to maybe your power bit or uh, something similar to that. So it's a really simple way to snap your circuits together. Just like that. Um, what else have we got? We've got a, a small servo motor here and we get a couple of accessories for this servo motor in here and it's similar to the DC motor. We've got a couple of options. So we've got a swing option on our, on our servo motor where we can swing back and forth or a turn option where we can control where it's turning to and position the servo. We get another DC motor which is um, really good for when we create cars and projects using two wheels so we can drive things around. So that's a good one. I hope the uh, rain isn't interfering with us too much today. It's a bit crazy in Australia, down in Newcastle. We're having a bit of a storm out of nowhere today. Um, another bit that we get is the bar graph bit, which is, you've, we've probably seen this one before if you've used little bits before. It's got five LEDs and they just reflect the level of power in the circuit. So if you connect it straight up to the power bit um, and you turn it on, you would see all five LEDs light up. If you put the slide dimmer in the middle and you moved it, you would see a re representation of what the power level is. Um, now there's a few accessories we get with a kit. Oh, the centerpiece thing for our kit today is the uh, Bluetooth bits, actually. Now, these are super exciting bits. First time Little Bits has ever included a Bluetooth bit. Um, the idea of it is you can connect this up to your phone using Bluetooth LE, and it's really simple to connect up. We'll show you in a second. But the idea is you connect it up, and then you can use your phone to control your invention, or you can use your invention to control your phone. Things like your camera on your phone, you can make a switch out of your Little Bits invention kit that controls the camera on your phone or something similar to that. So that's a really impressive part of this kit and that's a part that was not ever a part of Gizmos and Gadgets part one and hasn't really been in any of the kits we've seen so far from Little Bits. So that's a really impressive thing. Um, we get a couple of wheels. Underneath here we get another wheel. So that's two wheels. So we can connect those up to our DC motors using the small motor mates you'll find in this kit. Now this kit actually comes with two of the see-through mounting boards, whereas the kit number one came with these mounting boards. Now the difference between the two mounting boards is the ease of which you can connect your inventions up. So these mounting boards are for you to be able to just clip your inventions in and hold them there while you play with them. So usually you would prototype out on your desk and once you know that it's ready to go, you could uh, clip it into your mounting board. So little bits have gone ahead and created a brand new design, which is this see-through bendable design you can see here. And it's very easy to snap your parts in. Uh, you get a couple of 
uh, battery snaps for your batteries to connect to your DC motor mates. I've got an extra one in this kit. This is one of our kits that we use in our core electronics workshops. Some of the accessories we get, like I said before, we've got some servo accessories. So they're always really good for kids to be able to add onto their servos and integrate into certain inventions. So I'll show you guys how that works really quick. So that's our servo bit there. We can, can just snap that one on and there's a couple of screws that hold that mounting rod to the wheel. So now if you have that on servo turn mode and you're controlling it, you would be able to attach something to the end of this. I've seen people attach pens and things like that, whack that onto a small driving robot and you can draw with a remote controlled robot. So that's cool. Um, what else have we got? We've got the wheel. So that's just a little ball inside a mount. You can use that on the front of any uh, vehicles that you do create or something like that. It just allows movement. Alternatively, you can pop that ball out and use it in a bunch of different locations. But we'll get into that in a sec. That's all part of the guidebook. Um, we get some little plastic shoes, which are always great to have. Uh, once you prototype your board out, you might want to stick it onto your invention and not use the mounting board. And this is a perfect way to do it. So these have just got small semicircular holes where your bits just clip straight into it. Uh, you get a handful of those. You get some motor mates, which clip onto the shaft of your DC motor bit. We've talked about these before. And so that'll just clip onto the D-shaped shaft and then that shaft can connect up to your wheel, which is cool to know. What else do we get? Oh, and this brings us back to our light sensor bit. So we get these small plastic screwdrivers and we can use those to change the sensitivity of our light sensor bit. There's a couple of other uses for these, but in this kit, this is the only bit I think that has the, um, the small adjustment wheel in there. That's what you're using the screwdriver for. And like I said, you get a handful of those little snap connectors. In this bag here, we've got some more screws and that was for the servo hub, servo hub we saw before. So if we want to connect a servo hub or connect our servo maybe to a mounting plate, that will be what we'll be using. And we get some glue dots. So the glue dots are just a little crafty way to stick things to your inventions. Underneath all that, you'll see this pack here. Oops, got some more uh, accessories popping out there. Now in this pack, we have a bunch of cardboard templates. Now all these cardboard templates are used by the guided inventions in our kit. So that's always a, um, a positive when you're buying a kit for say a, a kid to use at home or maybe in the classroom and you don't have to worry about cutting out your own templates because they come in the kit. So that's really cool. And a pack of stickers there. So you get some purple and white stickers, which is always part, uh, a fun part of the remix phase of the So. Now that we've covered that, let's take a quick look at the book. I'll just wrap all this over here. So this is the book that you get. It's called The Little Bits Gizmos and Gadgets Second Edition Invention Guide. So the way Little Bits always do their kits, always, 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 is they start off with the basics and they've pretty much been able to condense everything that's important about Little Bits and the ecosystem down into these two pages. So you can see there's a, a little sample circuit where you just connect up one of each bit and you sort of go through what they all mean. You then go through the anatomy of your bit, including the direction that they run in and the orientation that you'll be building them with and in. You go through a small index, so power bits are blue, wire bits are orange, input bits are pink, and output bits are green, um, which is what we've just gone through with looking at those bits. And then you get all the uh, additional things, such as like the magnetism of the bit and how that works. You've got the order of the bit and how it's important to have green bits in your circuit because they're the things that allow you to tell that something's happening in the world because the output bits do something. And then there's the adjustable bits section. So that's just talking about how the screwdriver can change things on the top, on the top of bits. Then we go through our bit index. Now this is a really good way to look at each bit individually and sort of see where it can be used in your circuit. First off, you meet the bit, then you see how it works. You see a sample circuit how it will um, all go together, and then a real world analogy of that bit. So for example, for the power bit, a real world analogy would be, say a phone charger. Um, they actually do that for every single bit that we've just looked through in the kit, and it's really, really well done. The uh, centerpiece bit of this kit, like I said before, was the Bluetooth bit. So this is the, uh, the spread of the Bluetooth bit, and the way that you're gonna use this is by um, connecting your uh, Bluetooth application up to your phone. So if that's a, um, it might just be a switch or it might be a motor or something. But yeah, you connect that up to your phone and it's a really simple process. We'll do that in a second. Anyways, we go through and we'll take a look at sort of the end of that section. 
we can see that we've got some helpful tools and materials. So these are extra things you can grab to help out with your kit. Things like craft sticks and string, scissors, paper cups, all those things that you can cut up and use. We've got the Little Bits Invention Cycle, which is the core idea of Little Bits and how they work. You go about creating and prototyping. You then play with your creation until you figure out what the strengths and weaknesses of it were. Uh, then you remix that entire creation and you add things in to cover those weaknesses or strengthen the strengths. And then you share that using the Little Bits app. So we're seeing more and more that that Little Bits app is actually quite an important part of the Little Bits um, system here. So it would be great that if you would buy this kit that you had the ability to throw in an iPad or an iPhone with, along with the kit. And that way the kids will be able to share their inventions and look up projects and all that sort of thing. So the first uh, project, we'll just take a quick look at this one. We get a time limit on our project and then we get a difficulty level. It goes through the create steps, explaining what to do at each step. Then we get to play with our uh, creation and see how it works. So that's this page here, just explaining how each part of the circuit does work. That's just the set of old thing. Then we get the remix. So this is the idea of changing your invention in some way. This gets the creative and critical thinking caps on. Uh, and then we share our bit. So, hey, I made this. I did this to it to make it a bit better. And this is what it looks like. And this is how, what the fun that I had with it. Yeah, it's a really cool way of doing it. And I think it really works. I know that in our Little Bits workshops at the Corinth Electronics Knowledge Factory, we've always had a really good reception from that sort of process of um, creating toward the end of the book. So there are all the guided challenges you get. I think there's four guided challenges in the this kit, well, in this book. Um, there's an additional eight or nine on the app. So they're not included in the, in the booklet, but if you have the app, you'll get all those. And then you get some challenges. So the idea of this challenge is it's an animatronics challenge and it encourages you to create something that is animatronic. So something where you've got lifelike animals or creatures that move around. They want you to use your, pre, uh, your kit to create something and then share it with the Little Bits community. So it's a really cool way of doing it and it creates a lot of pride in the students and they take pride in their learning. They want to show it off and it's just the best way to do it. All right, so we get 12 more inventions on the Little Bits Invent app, which we have here and we're going to take a look at. And then we go to our glossary, which is a really quick run through of all the topics that are covered in the kit and then some troubleshooting steps if you need. So let's take a quick look at the app and how the Bluetooth bit does work. So when you first sign into the app, you'll need a little bit of account to sign into that one. And what we can do is go to our kit, enable notifications, and they will send us notifications if there is any new projects available to be made with the bits in our kit. The important part we were going to look at though is to go to our bit controls. So once we've signed in using our little bits of uh, login, we can go to the bit controls and we can select what we're going to do. Now for our kit, it was the Bluetooth bit, which we select up here. And we can use any of these controls. So we can control our camera, for example, using this one. Or we can go down to custom control and see what's happening. So if we can get a good picture of what's happening on the screen there, all it's telling us to do is to connect our Bluetooth bit up to power. So we'll grab one of our Bluetooth bits out. I'll grab the power bit out and just slide them on just to prove the point. So get those all connected up. Grab out a battery. Remember the batteries are included for the little bits kit, which is good. And what we do is we just connect all those three up. It's just a quick little invention there. Now, so to connect our Bluetooth LE device, we just whack it up against that green bit there and wait for it to connect. Ours didn't connect automatically, so you, there's a manual connect option, which is always good to know. All right, so what we're going to do is control our device. And what we might do is get a counter going. All right, so I selected counter for that menu, and then I click the run. Now I can rotate the device to access the controls. So what I'll do is turn that one sideways. And what we can see is every time I increase the power to my bit, we see the counter increase. So that's pretty simple and easy to do. Um, we can also control my bit using, say, a button. And all I need to do is whack something in series after that Bluetooth bit. Click on that one and run it. So now I've got my counter going as well as my uh, button on the same screen. So if I press my button, you can see that the thing lines up. 
So that's how simple it is to use Bluetooth. Uh, imagine a 8 to 14 year old using Bluetooth. They don't have to worry about any connection settings. All they have to do is go to the app, whack it close. If that doesn't work, press on your bit and you've got a connection. I hope that this has really covered off on what you get with your Gizmos and Gadgets kit. And I hope that seeing the way the app works has really compelled you to want to go out and try it out for yourself. So if you have any more questions about the Gizmos and Gadgets kit or any of the other little bits gear, jump on the Core Electronics and get in touch with us. If not, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Have a really good day.